Pasta. Yeah. We're looking to get equalized. You want to do business? Show me some dead presidents. I hear you favor Grant. Uh, it is my favorite president. Favorite president. Well, then, amigo, show me your armor. Check it out. Step into my office. All right, let's see what you got. Mac 10s, Uzis, 45s, 9 millimeters. Need I go on? Yeah, but are they cold? Virtually untraceable. If anything goes wrong, you move in on my command. Hey, guys. Hey, get the hell out of here. You got a couple of bucks, Mr. Some of us work for a living, you mind? How about some spare change? How about some change? You got any change? Huh? Yeah. I got your change right here. You understand what I'm saying? Hey! No, no. Everybody hold. Hey, check it out. Oh! 
pretty good disguise. You almost fooled me today. Thanks. That was very impressive. All in a day's work. Why do I get the feeling you're leading up to something? For starters, you may detect it. And you've been transferred to Northwest Division. When do we leave? Billy's not leaving. They want you to start a martial arts program. Besides, I still need her around here. Good luck, kid. I'm gonna miss you around here. Thanks. Here's to Detective Sean Thompson. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Is it moonlighting? No, uh, just filling in for cops. <laughs> Congratulations, Sean. Thanks. I hate to break up the team. Yeah, me too. But hey, now that you're on your own, you got a better chance of making detective. Yeah, right. Hell, if you could do it, anybody can. Captain Kranz, Detective Sean Thompson. Captain, requisition forms. Thanks. So, uh, you're martial law, huh? Well, I heard a lot about your work. It's all good. Oh, thanks. We got a pretty good group here. This is Borelli. He'll show you around. Danny? Hey! Come on, I take it uh, that you two know each other? Yeah, I went to the academy together. And I'll speak to you later. All right. Glad you could make it detective. Hey. Yeah, yeah. You look real good. Thank you. I've been working out. Stop drinking. Hey, that's good. Get a couple of karate lessons from you. I'd be kicking some ass, man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> take more than just a couple, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Go straight to jail and don't pass go. <laughs> How's Nancy doing? Uh, she's doing great. You know, Sean, she's been asking for you, and that girl, uh, Pam. 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 All with the... Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's hot. Hey, you remember, uh, String? Hey, String you must be the new guy around here. Yeah, Sean Thompson. Frank Dobbs. I'm the sergeant around here. Hey, good to meet you. Thank you. Hi, Borelli. Frank, what's new? Not much, Danny boy. Not much. See you. Yeah, nice meeting you. He seems okay. Yeah. Administration. What's wrong? Ah, nothing. <laughs> no, nothing. Yeah? So you and Nancy want to go to dinner, huh? Do a little celebrating? Not tonight. Slow down. Come on, it's my treat. Yeah. I got something to take care of. Hey, look. Could you finish up the tour alone? Yeah, sure. All right, good. And, uh, all right. What? Nothing. I'll, uh, I'll tell you what, we'll do it tomorrow night, all right? Yeah, okay. Sure, that's no problem. It's good to have you here, Sean. Yeah, it's good to be here. All right. All uh, right, speak to you soon, Danny. Yeah. Take it easy now. Yeah, oh. At 24, Spencer Hamilton has achieved the kind of success many businessmen work their whole lives to attain. And to encourage others his age, he's just established the Hamilton Scholarship Fund for Business Excellence. Kind of you Mr. Hamilton, to what do you attribute your success? Well, Christine, luck and determination don't hurt. Plus, I have an incredible role model, my father. <laughs> it was your own hard work, son. In a world where so many parents and children find it difficult to communicate, the Hamilton family is an inspiration to us all. Christine Richards, Channel 10 News. We all set for tonight, Bruce.
Is everything in order? Yep, everything's in order. Get out. Let's see your hands. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Hey, scum! He has this. You're a real boy scout, Borelli. Who else is in on this, Frank? You'll never know. Well, I can guarantee you're not gonna get away with it. I beg to differ. It looks like you put your nose somewhere where it doesn't belong, my friend. How unfortunate. Tanner. Let's go. This is it, Frank, huh? You gonna sell me out, man? You gonna sell me out, Frank? This is the way you treat your brothers, right? Good move. Nice. <laughs> Look at this guy. I'm gonna walk out of here, Frank. I'm gonna walk out of here, Frank! How'd he get on to you, Dobbs? Never mind. I know it won't happen again. Bree, this has to look right. powerful aspect of martial arts is the mind. Concentration against the opponent's movement is how you'll take them down quickly. Without a gun, with only your skill. Now, I'll need some volunteers. As you can see, balance is critical in any defense. You have a question now? It looks like dancing in your pajamas to me. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, which move stops the 357? <laughs> this next move is designed to disarm an attacker at close range. Okay, now what? <laughs> Bang, you're dead. Well, you tell him, tell him, uh, I'll turn up, turn up, turn up, like the two kids and all. Nancy, tell him I'll turn. I will, I'll do anything, I'll do anything. <laughs>
What'd you say your name was? It's Bob. Been working here long? Enjoy it? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. But the fringe benefits are great. Mm. I can only imagine. <laughs> what can you imagine? Well, by looking at you, I'd say you were on quite a healthy plan. Yeah, I'm very healthy. Spencer, thanks for the law. I thought I was going to have to quit school. My pleasure. Consider it a gift. Oh, I can't accept that. Well, there is a way you could work it off if you like. I could use another girl in here, just to be nice to the customers. It's not what you think. I don't use my girls that way. I only need them to talk to the clients, be friendly. And let me know any interesting information you might hear along the way, that's all. Consider this just a little advance. I guess I could use it for nights. Besides, I could use a break from study. When do I start? How about right now? Frank, glad you could make it. Please enjoy the champagne with my compliments. Here's someone who's dying to meet the biggest sports promoter in the business. Frank Jones, may I present to you, Celeste? Charm. She'll be at my private party on Saturday. I hope you'll be able to make it. Wouldn't dare miss it. Oh, excuse me, please. <laughs> but it's still a million bucks. <laughs> Who the hell is this? Suspense and I will spend the yellow. Perhaps you've had too much to drink. I'll have the bartender call you a cab. Your drinks are in the house, sir. Much obliged. Excuse us, Evans. Thank you. So who's the new girl? Celeste. Well, I guess some guys like that type. I don't want you wasting your time with that guy anymore. There are more important people here you should be working with. Give me a break. Look, I'm not in the mood for this tonight. You're on thin ice, lady. Well, it's a good thing I know how to skate. Rebellious, isn't she? Like Danny was loaded and missed the curve. What? Drunk driving. You told me good drink. Yeah, well, Danny said lots of stuff. Look, the evidence is there. It's that simple. Good. Hey, he fell off the wagon. A lot of people do. It cost him. Yeah, but why? I don't know. Danny's been confused. I heard he flunked the sergeant exam. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Look, uh, there's no reason to believe it's anything else. Yeah, shit. You're probably right. I'll see you back in the station. I'm not denying it. Varelli was a good cop. Captain, you got a meeting in 50 minutes? Yeah, thank you, Edwards. But he had a problem. 
And that problem finally caught up to him. He told me he was dry, Captain, and I believe him. Now, something's not right. I understand how you feel. I've lost a number of good friends, and that's the hardest part of the job. So I'm telling you, he... This report seems clear. We'll wait, and we'll see if the coroner's report verifies it. But in the meantime, you're just going to have to back off a little bit. Back off? Captain, I... I am late for a division meeting. Well, that's it, Detective. Late, guys, and I'm supposed to be on vacation. clientele here, an exclusive clientele that values their privacy. Well, I'm sure you do, and I respect that. Now, do you mind? It's about 5'10", uh, dark hair. You don't seem to understand. We can't help you here. You get a bad habit of interrupting. I think it's time for you to leave. I haven't finished my beer. Yes, you have. Touch me. That's enough. I sit. Oh, <laughs> 
Get up. Get against the wall. Put your hands behind your head and interlace your fingers. Let him go. What? He's a cop. What are you doing here, Dobbs? What am I doing here? I'm supposed to ask you that, Thompson. Hi, beautiful. Hey, stranger. You working late? Yeah, one final report. And I'm on vacation. Well, come on. Get changed, I'll buy you a beer. Yeah. Danny Borelli, can you believe it? I heard. Such a shame. I was at the scene and somehow things don't add up. What do you mean? Well, it looked like a DUI. Danny told me he quit drinking and I believe him. And this... This other detective Dobbs keeps popping up. I mean, everywhere. You're not gonna let this go, are you? I think he deserves that at least, don't you think? What do you want me to do? You're on vacation. Come on. Well, there is a little something. I found that in Danny's car. Club syntax. Did you check it out? I, um, sort of blew my cover. Fucking unbelievable, Thompson. You know I'm that? I'm not finished with you. You created a scene. In a nightclub. No assault charges were filed, thank God. I was following Alina Borelli's death. Yeah? Borelli was drunk. 1.6, twice the legal limit. Case closed. No case. And if you keep this up, you're gonna end up on parade duty until your goddamn retirement. saying this, but we're closed. Well, that's OK. I'm looking for a job. You need any bartenders? Well, it depends. On what? How good are you? Try me. My time. Light rum, orange juice, pineapple juice, grenadine. Float it with dark rum. God. Long Island, iced tea. Five whites. Vodka, <laughs> rum, gin, tequila, Coke, sweet and sour, topped with triple sec. Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster. <laughs> Got you. Cream de cocoa, cream de mint, vodka, lit on fire, run like hell. Very good. Very good. Having That's fun, George. Uh, Mr. Tanner, I was just <clears throat> interviewing her for a job. Uh, she's pretty good. Guess we're working you too hard, huh? You know, I uh, could use a little extra help on the weekends, and uh, we do have a couple of big nights coming up. What's your name? Kathy Swan. Where have you worked before? Here, there, mostly downtown. Any place I might know? Well, nowhere this nice. But look, if you want references, I can... No, no. Um... Why don't we try you out tonight, see how you do, and we'll work from there, OK? Great. George, why don't you show her around? Make sure she knows what she's doing. Yes, sir.
don't think it was an accident, Nancy. Was there anything unusual lately? Was he having any problems at work? Oh. He did seem frustrated lately. About two weeks ago, he came home very upset. I had to pry it out of him, but he said someone was trying to meddle with an arrest. I tried to get him to talk to me, but that's all he would say. Did he say who? No, he refused to talk about it. I thought it was over. You have to find out what happened. Sean Thompson. Dickens. What can I do for you? I need to pull a file on a, a Michaels Tiffany arrested June 4. Nothing in here. Maybe there's a hard copy. No file. You sure? Yeah, she got an AKA or something? No, that's the name. Could it be somewhere else? No, this is Central. It's not in here. She hasn't been booked. All right, thanks. Well, it's about time you got here. Yeah. You picked the sunny side of the street, huh? I start at the club tonight. Great. Saw Nancy today. Mm. How's she holding up? Mm, pretty good. That's good. There's really something weird going on. What? No, well, she told me Danny was really messed up because someone was checking out his cases. So I pulled his files. He'd arrest this girl at Club Syntax. But get this, there's no record of it in Central. There's got to be some connection, right? Listen, why don't you check it out and see what you can dig up? Do you know the name of the girl? Tiffany. Tiffany Michaels. I'll check it out. All right. Oh, Billy, listen. Krantz found out I was working on this. Just make sure you don't get caught, or it'll be both her ass. You know, you act like a little old lady sometimes. Sometimes I feel like a little old lady. Yeah, Grandma. Enjoying yourself, Frank? Great place you got here. I like to throw an interesting party. By the way, I've arranged a little event later that I think you might really enjoy. What is it? It's a surprise. It's for my very special guest. Yeah, guys, well, I gotta get a drink. Champagne, the good stuff. Are you having a good time tonight? Oh, yeah. You're new here, right? Yeah. First night? Kathy Swan. Tiffany Michaels. Nice to meet you. So are you a dancer? No. No, I'm not a dancer. I... I'm one of Spencer's collectors. Collectors? People, favors, things like that. 
I make sure Spencer gets what he wants, when he wants it, and how he wants it. Well, he seems like a nice guy. Spencer? Yeah, he's great, as long as you deliver. Jeez. <coughs> Kathy, isn't it? No more drinks for the lady tonight. I want to talk to you. Oh, great, yeah. Would you let go? You're hurting There's me. There's someone important I need you to talk to. I suppose you want me to sleep with him too, right? And make him fall in love with me? I'm tired of all of this. You're tired of it? Well, you're not tired of all the benefits, are you? You're going to do what I want, when I want it. And you'll like it. Yes. Watch your mouth. Yes, sir. Spencer, everything's ready. Be careful, Tiffany. Party breaking up early? They'll yeah, be back. Where'd they go? Some things around here, <clears throat> they just don't get into. Well, I hope Tiffany's OK. She seemed rather upset. Tiffany will be fine, just as long as she keeps her mouth shut. And so will you. Right up my alley, Spencer. I thought so. Watch the one in blue. Excellent style. Bad. You know, I've been thinking of getting in the promotion game myself. Really? It's a tough racket. Yes, I thought you might help me. I had a little head start in mind. And what's that? Well, a certain someone tells me you're a gambling man. So am I. I'll put my man against your man. My man wins. I get your business for 10 million. 10 million? <laughs> worth twice that. Your man wins, you get my club. Which one's your man, the one in blue? Tanner. Your two men. You were on, Hamilton. You were on. <laughs> I think I'm going to enjoy the nightclub business. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Ten million. You got one week. Spencer, I have a question. Where are we gonna get ten million? Bree, why don't you take everybody back to the club? Tanner, I don't underestimate you. Don't you underestimate me. Tiffany, why don't you tell me more about this young man, Rick? wants to talk to you. Yeah, I know. Who are you? Uh, you're right. Get in. Wait, wait, what's this about? Just get in. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? I need some information, Rick. Oh, yeah, what? My people tell me you're involved in a certain transaction soon. Look, no way. All right? I got nothing to tell you. <laughs> Look, Rick, I don't want to hurt you. After all, any friend of Tiffany's is a friend of mine. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, man. <laughs> don't be stupid, Rick. What, are you kidding? Tell me what I want, I'll let you walk out of here right now. If I talk, they'll kill me! You talk. Really, this is your last chance. No. No. Now the other. You heard them, they'll kill him. This is a big deal, Spencer. You know they're gonna have an army there. We'll have our own army.
George, have you seen Spencer? No. Good. I need a break. <laughs> oh, hello. Long time no care. I gotta tell you. Too good to ignore. Well, it's been really nice seeing you too. But the old clock on the wall says it's time for you to fuck off. Come on. Let's go someplace private. I'm not interested. I don't want to hurt you. Hey, leave her alone. When I want a drink, I'll ask. It's time to leave. Sure. Come on, let's go. Let go of me. Let go. Would you wait a second? Oh, alone. Apologize to the lady. <laughs> oh, I'm <Apologize>. sorry. <laughs> no problem. Oh, sure. Let's get out of here. Oh, God. <laughs> so how long have you been with them? Spencer? Mm -hmm. I guess it's been about three years. Well, that's a long time. You must really like it. The only problem is Spencer wants to make all my choices. What kind of choices? About the guys I date. But I have this plan to remind him how valuable I am to him. There's a certain guy that's crazy about me. I bet he's not the only guy. Well, I'll tell you this, he's very powerful. And if Spencer doesn't watch out, I'll be controlling him. So tell me, do you really love this guy? Do I love him? Well, he loves me. I like him a lot. You know, Tiffany, if it gets rough, maybe you could go back home. Do your parents live around here? No. They died in a car accident when I was a kid. I'm sorry. Nope, I'm on my own now. But I'll do just fine. So how long have you been a bartender? Well, my dad used to own a bar, so it was sort of like in the family business. I think I was about six years old when I learned how to make my first night. Where are you from? Scranton, Pennsylvania. Yeah? Yeah. How did you hear about Spencer's call? Well, oh, oh can you believe this jerk? You back for more? Mm-hmm. There's been a cop at the club asking questions. Sean Thompson. I've already got dogs working on me. Good. Tiffany sends her love. And when do I get to see her again? Soon. I have some information for you. A big drug deal. Times, dates, and places. And why are you telling me all this? My civic duty, Captain. Think of the headlines. Big dealer bust. But what is in it for you? You get the drugs and the glory, and I get the cash. You're crazy. The answer is no. Haven't I always treated you right, Captain? 
You want to go back to that lousy cop salary and that ugly ex-wife? It's too much, Spencer. No, I'd be going too far. It'd have to be murder, for God's sake. I'm out. And I don't care who you tell about Tiffany and me. I won't cross the line. I'm out. You're out when I say you're out. Until then, you're in. You'll do what I want. You'll seek out. You go for the groin, or you go for the throat? Yeah. Well, how's my favorite girl? Spence, you should have seen Kathy tonight. She beat up three guys. Yes, I heard. Bree told me. Very impressive. I could use another pair of hands around here. How would you like a job? I already have one. Ah, oh, that's right, a bartender. That must be very, very boring for someone with your skills. Not really. Why? What did you have in mind? I have a big night coming up. I'm going to need a few extra people to help out Tanner and Bree. I like my people capable of handling themselves. Do you mean a bouncer? Yeah, something like that. I just need someone who knows when to jump in and help out. It'd mean a nice raise. Sure. Sounds interesting. Okay. Yeah, Detective Sean Thompson. I got some information about Varelli. Who is this? A friend. Tell me what you got. No, first, you asked for plenty. Listen, if you tell me what you got. came in, gave me a grand, and he told me what to say. What do you look like? I, you look like a f cop. Oh, this is different. Cute. And here's my favorite section. This is beautiful. It's great. What do you think? I love it. I'm going to buy it for you. Tiffany, it's 300 bucks. Don't worry, I have Spencer's credit card. OK. Oh, look. Oh, look at this. Spencer's being generous. He hasn't gotten the bill yet. Just my way of making sure he remembers how much I'm worth to him. Here you go. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Really? Sean. Hi, what's up? I followed a tip today and got it jumped. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Sean. Oh, really? Was it a setup? I got a pretty good idea it was, but no proof. Who? Dobbs. Dobbs? What's next? Get proof. Billy, be careful. Nice, but that's not what I care about. Besides, it comes with Spencer. Spencer. The only nice thing that he ever did in his whole life was introduce us. Do you ever think about just disappearing? Going someplace else? Just starting all over. Well, I know somewhere we can go tonight. Mm. Why don't you go ahead and I'll get the drinks. you're up to, this stinks. Emotions, Tiffany, emotions. They really do get in the way of business. No more. I'm sick of your twisted games. I've had enough of this, Spencer. I want out. You really think you can just walk away from this? I did what you asked me to do. Now let me go. You know something? I agree with you. I really do. What? What are you doing? You said you weren't gonna hurt him. Well, this isn't for him. You've already run out of bullets. This is going to make an interesting story, don't you think? Police captain murders mistress and love nest. The tabloids are going to love it. Of course, Tanner will keep the photos and evidence well hidden. Now you are going to do everything I ask. You have no choice. There's a little matter of a drug bust and $10 million. I think Friday night will work well. Oh, yes, Dobbs tells me that Thompson got away. Don't worry, I'll take care of that myself. What a mess. Clean up a little before you go, will you? Hot. Spencer. Dob screwed up. I want the cop eliminated. He's getting too close. Now tonight.
How about a workout? Yeah, what the hell? Tiffany? Tanner? Uh, yes, I have. She left this morning. She said something about going to visit her parents, I believe. Oh, that's nice. You have something you can be doing, George? I left something in my car. I'll be right back. OK. Believe me, it's not here. I've, I've looked through every file. Hey, hang on a sec. Detective Thompson. I think something's happened to Tiffany. I don't have much time, so can you check it out? Sure. Yeah, I'll get right on it. OK. I'll see you then. Yes. Oh, look who it is. Can I help you again, officer? Does Tiffany Michaels live here? No. No, she doesn't. You, uh, mind if I take a look? That depends. You got a warrant? What's well, a little piece of paper between friends? Tiffany? No, oh, but I ran into an old friend, blonde that works at the club. Said Tiffany wasn't there. Bree. Bree? Who's that? One of Spencer's bodyguards. Yeah, well, Tiffany's arrest file's gone. <clears throat> and now she's gone. How's it connect? Jobs is the key. But listen, stay in close. Your eyes and ears on Spencer. I'll work on Dobbs. dropped off this letter.
I want Thompson out of the way once and for all. Yes, Captain, listen. I think our friend Dobbs has become a liability. Good. Yes. Immediately, yes. Then we'll take it from there. You have work to do. Good night, Captain. They got two teams. Doug, your people go in the front. Johnny, your team comes in the back. Now, this is a big deal, and we expect maximum resistance, so everybody take all precautions. I want all of you coming back in one piece, OK? Sean? I want you and Frank to be in charge of moving any evidence. Sure. Just you and me, Thompson. Stay there. Thanks. Listen up, people. The club will be closed tonight. I've got a very special transaction telling everybody there. What about me? Yeah, you too. We're going to 9 o'clock sharp. Hey, Chico, it's all there, all right? At least an iron million. Now we got the last box. You got a problem? Go ahead. What? OK, start counting. Sí. Hablo rápido. Quiero salirte. Do it. Out there. One of them drew down. I popped him. I'll take the van and you go straight to headquarters.
So what's the deal? Just a little trade, nothing for you to worry about. What kind of trade? Havana's going to arrive with some boxes. You will help put those boxes into a car. That is all you need to know. Okay. It's on its way. Good. Call Jones. Tell him one hour. Hey, Dobbs. Mind if I ask you a question? Shoot. How long you been dirty? How long I been dirty? <laughs> hey, that's a good one. No, really. I want to know how long. Ever since I got smart, Thompson. You think a straight guy gets ahead? What happened to Borelli? He was poking around where he didn't belong, just like you. I'm taking you down, Dobbs. Get a fucking life. You know how deep this goes? You're going to take down Krantz, too? Yeah, you see, you think you know everything, don't you, wise guy? What the? Put it down. Think you're gonna pull this off, Dobbs? Sure. Two cops get ambushed, one gets tragically killed, suspects get away with the money, but I get a medal anyway. Huh? Shoot him. I got different orders. You're not very good at this, are you? Okay, tough guy. You're gonna be my guy. Spencer's real generous with his cops. Yeah, I've seen how he treats his cops. Shut up and drive. You're here! Looks like we're in business. Looks that way. You must be Officer Thompson. You're very annoying. Tell them to drop their guns of this guy's history. Go ahead. I've got an idea. You give up, and we'll kill you. Ah! <sighs> 
10 million. Only the winner keeps the cash. in on it. 